Hey guys, how's it going? Miso here, back with another Epic 7 video. Another day in a row, making content. I'm on a roll, let's go, let's keep this up. Hopefully I can continue doing this every day um, until, I don't know, I die. Probably not that far along, but every day for quite a while, at least until the end of this quarantine, then we'll see what kind of plays out from there. But today I'm gonna be talking about hunts in general, um, but probably a little bit more towards Wyvern because that's the one I have most experience with and that's what most everybody's doing right now, but this definitely applies to every hunt. So what I'm going to talk about today is stat priority, what you want from your units for stats. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about crit damage versus attack percent. So. There's a little bit of a kind of a, in general, usually outside of Wyvern, there's more kind of like a balancing act, right? You want attack and crit damage, but you don't want too much attack and too low crit damage, or the other way around, having an attack that's too low and having too high crit damage. You really want it to be balanced. That way you're gonna get the most bang out of your buck for your stats. But for Wyvern, it's a little, well, hunts. I keep saying Wyvern, hunts. It's a little bit different. So why is that? Well, for hunts, how it works is you use your unit against, you know, whatever boss you're going up against in hunt. Whether that's Banshee, Wyvern, Golem, A11, or A13, whatever you're going up against, you're gonna go against that unit with Daydream Joker. That's the most useful DPS artifact, the most efficient, the one that's gonna be increasing your damage the most. And because of that artifact, we build our stats a little bit differently than normal. So what do I mean by that? So Daydream Joker, what it does is it does a percentage of the enemy's health and puts those that percentage into your damage. So it adds it to your damage. Now, with that becomes a little bit of a different place where instead of focusing solely on balancing your stats, what you're going to want to do is actually focus and gear your unit towards more crit damage. And of course you want attack, but if you're giving up attack, you're kind of balancing, which one should I get more of? You should definitely do crit damage. So with that information, we can now go to our handy dandy damage calculator. So here is our damage calculator. I've kind of filled in everything already for Wyvern 13. We've entered uh, the enemy as Wyvern 13 right here and we've entered some basic stats for Sigret, which is kind of our unit of choice for this hunt. Um, so she's currently holding Daydream Joker, max level, level 30. It's not too hard to get. Um, very, very reasonable in terms of uh, acquirable stats. So 3000 attack, 250% crit damage, very easy to get with pretty basic equipment. Let's take a look here. So because we're using Daydream Joker, I would recommend increasing crit damage over attack, as I mentioned earlier. So let's kind of demonstrate that here. Right now we're doing about 42,000 damage. Now, let's say we have a helmet that increases attack by 20% versus a helmet that increases crit damage by 20%. So here we go, 20% attack versus 20% crit damage. Let's increase it by 20% attack. And 20% attack of Sigret's base attack, which is 1228, gives you 245.6 attack. And let's round that up a little bit, 246. So let's increase it by 246. So now it goes to 44,544. Perfect. So remember that number, we'll type this up here. So 44, five, four, four. Now let's bring this back to 3000 attack and let's pump up crit damage by 20%. 270. As you can see, it's 45,597 compared to our 44,544, definitely higher. So that's a situation where you have Daydream Joker. Now let's take a look at what happens if you don't have Daydream Joker. Reset everything back to normal, 3,250, 
take off Daydream Joker. Right now, base, it's going to be 28,344. Now, let's again increase the attack by 246. It's going to end up being 30,668. So let's put that number here again, 30,668. And let's bring this back to normal and change the crit damage. 270 crit damage. So we have 30,611. So it's lower this time. And this is exactly because of Daydream Joker. What I was talking about earlier, because you're using Daydream Joker, crit damage is going to be more, more damage than attack percent. So this is why you want to use crit damage over attack percent in terms of what you're prioritizing for your stats. Now, this is not always true, but it's true for when you know, you're not dealing with very, very low numbers. Earlier when I plugged in cigarettes based stats of 1228, I think, and I think it's like 165 or something. She has really high base crit damage, yeah, 165. Um, that was not the case. In that case, the attack percent actually gave you more, but that's because we're working on very, very low numbers. On average, anything above basically our base stats, if you're going against any of the hunts with Daydream Joker, crit damage is going to be the way to go. Alright guys, hopefully that helps you with your hunts and hopefully that increases your clear rate in the future. As always, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Leave a like, share, subscribe, all of the above, whatever. You know, it always motivates me to make more videos when I see you guys are interacting with it, enjoying it, and um, learning from it. And I'm always happy to kind of clarify anything a little bit more that I haven't gone in detail with. So please let me know anything that you think about this video down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.